How's your second quarter of 2018 going so far? If it's not going so well, maybe you wanna check out our little last few videos that we've done around vendor management and buyer management because it's all about hashtag winning in the second quarter of 2018. I've got to tell you guys, one of the things that I'm really finding right now in this marketplace is, you know, a lot of agents are thinking, pondering, dwelling around social media. Question I have for you is, what have you been doing this year in 2018 to move the needle around your social media? Do you have a strategy? If you don't, maybe now this second quarter is the time to start thinking about it. Why? Well, you know what? We're living in a digital world and I look at social media like this. You've got Facebook is like channel seven, you've got LinkedIn is channel nine, and you've probably got Instagram that's channel 10. We spend more time on our phones today looking at our social media feeds more than probably watching television. So my question to you is, are you on channel seven, nine or 10 today? Because if you're not, you may want to start drawing the line in the sand and doing it. Don't be that person that's got that fixed mindset or, or labels it and go, that's not my style, I'm not very good in front of the camera, etc. Let me tell you, I was hopeless in, the, in front of the camera. Tom and I were just having a conversation, we're going, we're knocking out these videos now within like an hour, where before when we first started, we were probably there for like a couple of hours trying to get it done. But you get more confident, you get more competent, and you get skilled at this, and then it starts to roll. So, social media, what can we be doing right now? Here's a tip I would give you for this second quarter is we're living in an environment of where reviews and you know, I'm looking at it. We went on holidays last year, we were going to the US and I remember my wife before booking a hotel, she went to TripAdvisor and checked on TripAdvisor the hotels in the city that we were gonna stay in. And that determined her decision as to where we were gonna stay. Um, another example was, you know, our washing machine broke down last year and we're going to look for a new washing machine. So she went to choice.com.au, I think it is. Don't quote me on it, but she looked on there and started to find the difference between a, a um, LG washing machine versus a Simpson, you know, versus Samsung, all these different types. So, but it's everybody else giving the review. It's not the actual company. My question to you is, do you have any video testimonials at the moment of your clients speaking about you? Not you being in front of the camera because that looks too scripted and people will go, nah, that's you selling you. But if you have your client and sharing their experience of working with you, a raving fan, and you discuss and ask them questions around their fears about selling or what process did they use to choose you or how did you find the experience using you and would you recommend you to other people? You know what? People buy that because that person sitting here watching you, sorry, not watching you, watching your customers or your clients talk about you and their experience with you, that's what's going to buy them to go with you. Hope that makes sort of sense. The second thing I would probably sort of say to you around your social media is if you're doing like one post a week, one post a month, that ain't going to cut it out today you need to be posting quite consistently and regularly. Almost like create some themes. I try and get my clients to think about, you've got Monday through to Sunday, think about some particular themes that you could focus on because where we get stuck with social media is, what do I post this week? So let's just think Monday could be all about just sold over the weekend. So you can put all your just sold and go up. But you don't wanna be like a client of mine, he showed me his phone and we were looking through his social media and all it had was just listed and just sold. It looked like boring, hello, come on, we're in 2018, we've got to mix it up. So I said, maybe just sold on a Monday. Why don't you do Tips Tuesday? Provide some really good tips around, around you know, decluttering your home, for example, or preparing your home for sale, or the top five tips what to do on auction day. Wednesday should be all about testimonials, okay? And testimonials is anything from Rate My Agent, a great testimonial letter that came through or an email that you could post up, or the other bit is maybe even a testimonial in an emotional connection, because we make decisions based on emotion. And I saw a really lovely one where a lady bought a house and she's giving the agent the biggest hug and she's got the contract, holding the contract in her hand. That was moving. And then Thursday could be all about Lifestyle Thursday, the local gym, the local community, the fates happening this weekend. So you can talk about everything around lifestyle on the Thursday. Friday, well, I call it Funny Friday. 
put a funny post up. You know, everyone's a lot relaxed. Most people accept you because you're an agent, you work on the weekends, but most people work Monday to Friday, and Friday's the best day. It's the end of the week, and they're like, woohoo! So create something funny, put a funny sort of post out on Friday. And Saturday, it's your open home schedule, your auction schedule, maybe your just listings are coming out. And then Sunday, it's pretty easy, it's fun day. So here's my question. What are you doing with your social media going forward right now? Now is the time to really think about putting a strategy to get the second quarter kicking, because if you do that, guess what's gonna happen in quarter three and quarter four at the end of the year? You'll have a lot more followers, people will know who you are, what you do, and what your offer is.